Welcome to our service today here in St Mark's where we are gathering on land cared for by for thousands of years by the indigenous folk who lived here before us uh, and we've gathered here to worship. You are in the church in your home and it's good to be together today. The Lord be with you and also with you. Our sentence for today, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Jesus said, this is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, confident in God's forgiveness. Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to God in faith, pardon you and set you free from all your sin, strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, your Son has taught us that those who give a cup of water in his name will not lose their reward. Open our hearts to the needs of your children and in all things make us obedient to your will so that in faith we may receive your gracious gift, eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we listen to our Bible readings. Our reading today is from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 6, beginning at verse 12. Therefore, do not let sin exercise dominion in your mortal bodies, to make you obey their passions. No longer present your members to sin as instruments of wickedness, but present yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life. And present your members to God as instruments of righteousness. For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under law, but under grace. What then? Should we sin because we are not under law, but under grace? By no means. Do you not know that if you present yourselves to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey? either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness. But thanks be to God that you, having once been slaves of sin, have become obedient from the heart to the form of teaching to which you were entrusted, and that you, having been set free from sin, have become slaves of righteousness. I am speaking in human terms, because of your natural limitations. For just as you once presented your members as slaves to impurity and to greater and greater iniquity, so now present your members as slaves to righteousness for sanctification. When you were slaves of sin, you were free in regard to righteousness. So what advantage did you get from the things of which you were now ashamed? The end of those things is death. But now that you have been freed from sin and enslaved to God, the advantage you get is sanctification. The end is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you, and also with you. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew, chapter 10, beginning at verse 40. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive the reward of the righteous. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. This is the Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This week's Gospel reading is very encouraging, it's lovely. 
Jesus telling the disciples that whoever welcomes them welcomes him and he will see and God will bless. And Jesus telling the disciples that whoever cares for even a little child, God will see and God will bless. This little gem of a passage is in a, a larger talk by Jesus given to the disciples and part of a larger process. That larger process is his ongoing shaping of them from raw recruits, all the welcome, he welcomed all sorts and kinds of people, and then he shaped some of them into being disciples who took on board his life and values of grace, and then some of them he sent out to mission in the world to carry on his ministry, make disciples for Jesus in all nations. All are welcome, but not everybody faces up to the process of formation and not everybody wants to go and pay the price. Jesus is in that process with his disciples. And in Matthew chapter 10, he names the 12, his core group, and he sends them out in pairs to do what they've seen him do. Go find someone in every town you go to who will be an ally for you. Use that person as a base. Bring the good news of God's love to that village. He warned them that they would face opposition and that that opposition shouldn't come as a surprise but should harden their resolve to be people who bring grace in the face of evil. And in these few lovely verses, he circles back to those people you came to to be an ally for you in the village. You used them as a base. Whoever welcomed you welcomed me and whoever welcomed me welcomed God. The people who gave you their presence, credibility and gave your launch into the village, God saw, God loves and God welcomes and remembers them. And if they went on living the love of God when you weren't there, God saw and rewarded that too. It could give you uh, hesitation if you're going out to share the good news of Jesus' love and you know you'll be opposed and you're going to leave behind some allies. You might think, is it worth it for them? Well, Jesus is saying to the disciples, it'll be worth it for the people who help you. Go and tell them. Well, this is a, a little message at a point in time for the particular experience of Jesus shaping his disciples, which, as in everything in the Gospels, is remembered afterwards for its ongoing value in the life of the church. As the church, after Jesus, took the Gospel to the nations, so they remembered that they were sent. They remembered that they'd be opposed and they let that harden them into people of grace and wisdom, not bitterness and defensiveness and anger, grace and wisdom. And they celebrated those who heard them and responded to the good news of God's love. The particular time of Jesus shaping the disciples, being broadened into the, the, more, the, the church's mission through, through the apostles. As we remember this story, perhaps there are three points of application. First up, there are still Christians around the world suffering for their faith. In Nigeria, uh, in Malaysia, in Indonesia, even in some subparts of Australia. Our view might be that we're in a comfortable place and the focus of the church in Australia now is on working out what we need to be sorry about in the things we've done, uh, but the broader view around the globe is that it's a costly thing to be a Christian in many places. Is it worth it? Would you encourage people to be Christian in a country where they would suffer for it? The first point of application of today's gospel passage is yes, Jesus is worth it for us and for other people. The suffering church around the world, God knows, God hears, it's worth it for those folks to follow Jesus. The second point of application is to perhaps, perhaps reflect on ourselves. If we like 
the disciples and apostles are sent into the world, we should want to be good envoys for Jesus. All are welcome. I'm welcome with my sins and failings, but I and you should be seeking to follow Jesus, have our lives conformed to the image of God's grace. We want to be good envoys, able to accurately share the story of what Jesus did and our lives and our community life reflecting that we are ambassadors for Jesus, good envoys. And the third application point is that we should be prepared to be good supporters of the mission. The folk the apostles dealt with, uh, if they gave a cup of water to a child, God would see, well, sometimes we are that low-key supporter. There's a broad task of the mission of the church, cooperating with what God's doing in the world. Sometimes someone gets to be big and important, stand at the stage, do the talk, uh, have their name on the building. Behind them, there are a whole bunch of people who are good supporters. If that's us, God sees, God cares, and that's our calling. These lovely verses about whoever welcomes you welcomes me, whoever gives a cup of cold water, generally true, but specifically apply to the process of formation of the disciples into being apostles and to us to encourage us to go out for Jesus and while it's hard and stressful, expect allies of grace who want to work with us to make the world a better place. And be prepared to take the second seat while God does what God is doing. Whoever gives even a cup of cold water to those little ones, God will see in reward. Thank you for being a parish, a community, who love each other, love Jesus, and share God's care for the world. Amen. Let us together affirm the faith of the Church. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Every week we share the greeting of peace to remember that we belong to God together. Please stand. We are the body of Christ. His spirit is with us. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Judy. Peace be with you. And also with you. Peace with you.
Almighty God, we come to you as children of faith. Receive the prayers we offer. We pray for your world. We give thanks for the beauty and wealth of resources you have provided. We pray that all will share your bounty with wisdom and generosity and that the leaders of the nations will deal with justice and compassion. We pray for our environment, for wise use of resources and reduction in waste and pollution. We pray for all affected by war, political unrest and natural disasters. God of grace, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for your worldwide church, for Christians everywhere, that we will follow the example of Jesus in our daily lives, sharing his love with those we meet. We pray for the clergy and people of our parish. Send us out to show your love and minister to those around us. God of grace, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for the fellowship of the communities in which we live and work. We commend to your keeping ourselves and each other, our families, our neighbours and our friends, for all whom we meet in our daily lives. We pray for the hungry, the homeless and all without work. We pray and give thanks for all who contribute to the well-being and care of the community. God of grace, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, you are filled with compassion for your people and in our troubles you hear our cries. We pray for all who suffer, for those who mourn, for those in pain. We pray for those on our parish prayer list and others who we know need your healing and comfort. Give them patience and a firm trust in your goodness. Help those who care for them and bring us all into the joy of your salvation. God of grace, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <coughs> we remember all who have died in the faith, those whose hearts have shown their love for you. Fill us with your power and purpose that we, so that we, with Atong Malu, Peter Gracie, Adela Delphin, Elsie Davis, Arlene Farr, Dottie Schurz, Joyce Jones and all your saints may live forever in your presence. God of grace, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers. Grant that what we have asked in faith, we may by your grace receive, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Mama Senge Sho, Yomu Kirundi, Yukuru Musui Mana, Yene Kirizo Yakabi Rizuku is Kindui, Mwakabi Mbibiri, Namirongi Nagata Tu, Averi Kishengiro, Yamariko Mwena, and Amuri Anglican, and Amuri Australia, Mano Girane, Zamana Ichu, a hero, Trimbere Awe Mana Yachu, Abahungu Nabakoga Awe Mana, Trogushima Yuko, Ariwa Turin Katugiravanu, Turagushima yuko adutandu kani jenivindi waremi vyose mana ukatuambika ubiza bgawe. Ijambo jatu gira ngo watule nyamishwe yawe. Waduha yugengi, waduha yukumenye, waduha yukumvira. Ndetse uduha nukugawa ibyo waremi mana. Turabigushimi ye mngami. Turagushima kurubu kubuntu bwawe Turagushima kurizo mbawazi zawe mngami. Tula kushimiye uhugira neza kwa wemana ya achu. Nune nhabari tuwebge, alukizi narigyawe, abari yori hawe chuu wa hilo. Tula kushima mana ya achu uwa tulemye. Tula kushima mana ya achu kwa uwa tugiri yeneza. Nune tuwazi tukongiri du sabi mbawazi. Uhuja mboja ya tugira ngo ukuhu kwa weni kwa weni kukufu mwana nae ukiza. Na matukia weni ya pufu mwana nwe kuhumwa. Alukumi chumuro vya achu. Ibiga vita njovja chumgami, hara hodo senga ni wakira masenga shoya chumgami, nane mana ya chu, tuagua ikazi miti maya chu, tu zani miti maya chu kuli wewe, tu gombo tu giri le niza mana ya chu, uduhari le, uhari le nuo wewe sarikarumvize ya masenga shoya, 
arabari hafi arabari kure mu izina rya Yesu Kristo turabasabye imbabazi mwami erega mana yacu turazi neza yuko izi turi mosi wacu ijambo rya rya tubwira yuko iwacu ni mwijuru kuko ijambo rya rya tubwira uti dutinye nduhagarika imitima yacu Yesu wagiye kudutegurira ibyicaro kugira ngo ahuzo buri natwe tuze tuhabe warakoze mana yacu warakoze kuri cyo sezerano ryiza wadusezeraniye mwami none twiteze ubwiza tuzokwambikwa ni twashiki wawe mwami itwageri wawe tuturamenya ko tuso amahoro turamenya nta muwabaro nta mfu nta gwango nta nzigo nta bukene nta ngwara kuko iwawe iwawe mwami hari ukuririmba ari guhimbaza hari ho ukwera gusa mwami none mana yacu natwe turi imbere yawe turagushima mwami mana yuko ibyo byose witeguriye naho tuba tucambaye imibiri ipfa naho tucambaye imibiri bora ariko mwami mana wateguriye ubundi buzima buhoraho mana yacu none turagusabye ngo uturinde ibyaha mana yacu turazi neza yuko ibyawe bidutandukanya nawe none turasabye ngo umwe mu wawe yera yama twigisha yama twongorera iyo tugiye kuva mu nzira yawe mana tumenye yuko twahawe umwe mu yera kugira ngo yama twigisha yama turongora mere yama twibutsa niyo dutaye nzira atugarure mu nzira mana none mana yacu turagusabye ngo dufashe nitwoshobora twegene mana turazi nsinzi twiruka kuri Yesu mukiza yaducunguye nsinzi twiruka kuri we mana yacu nico gituma dusabishengero ryawe ryose mwami ngutgeze uritunganye ujyambi kubwiza bwawe mwami erega turazi twese turacari mwisi isi ni ibibazo isi ni intambara ariko mwami mana turagusabye ngo twami tukwizera tukwizere mwami uko Abrahamu yakwizeye mwami ndetse ukamubwira ko azobyara umwana w'umuhungu Isaka mwami mana mutama bwiwe ndetse akakwizera akabyizera none mana yacu ato twizeye wewe twizeye urukundo gwawe mwami turagusabye rero ngo tujakarire ukugoroka kwawe mwami kuko mwami mana niho tuzokwakwera imbuto zikwiranye no kwihana mwami kandi ibyo byose bizo tuzadira ubugingo buhoraho none mana yacu uhimbazwe uhimbazwe ushigwe hejuru icubahiro kibicawe mwami dukundire mana yacu dusubire dusengere ishengero ryawe mwami ibihe turimwe nibihe bitoroshe mwami Satana guma yikomantaza isi mwami mane gumeza nibikomeye mwami imibira tugerageza ariko mana yacu turazi neza abo kunda abo wasezeraniye mwami kuzogirira neza uzobana yitugirira neza nico gituba mu izina rya Yesu Kristo tubana yitukwiginga mwami mana uhoro tugwanira mwami uhoro tugwanira uhoro tugwanira mwami kugira ngo tuze dushye kugororoka nya kuri Uduwe kwa matu kitu kwa laliki jabu ya wenu uro kwa wawe Kukira ngoni mini vjose tukwa metu vjonge kwa Urakoze mana ya achu Tukundire yotu sengere na wandi vose Aba guaye Aba fisi nengezu mwiri mwami Turazi ni wabuze ni weshi mwami Aliko mana ya achu wala vuze ngo Imitwaro ya achu yose tuizane kuli wewe Kukutu wabara mwami Itegerezu wawe sarushe Itegerezu wawe sababara mungongo Itegerezu wawe sababara mumutwe itegereza abo bose bari mu bitaro turi bukambere na Noel ari mu bitaro mwami ubana yemugirire neza mwami wongira umukize turazi imana yacu muri ivya vuza ati muganga mwiza ni Kristo none imana yacu turakwigenze hajya ari mu bitaro umugendere mwami umugendere umusuke ko ubuga ubuvuzi bwawe mwami umuvure wewe nk'imana mukunda umuvure wewe nk'umuvye imana turagomba ko ari wo mukiza mwami uzobukoze ubikore nk'ugomba gukura imana duca muri byinshi turazi imana yacu yuko ibyo byose we wari ubiturenganya inzinzi tuyikuri wawe kuhija mu ya tubira ngo naho twoca mu mazi amazi ntazo turengera ngo naho twoca mu muriro imbe ya ntizo tubabura mwami uhuzo buri kumwe natwe none imana yacu twishize mu biganza byawe mwami turagusabye ngo tuzigame uturinde uturinde udushoboze mwami tubandanye urugendo ushita kuherezo gisa imana mana yacu reka tusabe twongere tukwinyige mwami nguheza gire mwami mana nabo bose babuza babo mwami turibuka umujyango wa juri 
mwami twadusanze dusenga nanga a ego mana yacu abo dusanze dusenga nababuze umuvyeyi wabo mwizina rya Yesu Kristo turakwinginga gose kugira ngo ubagendere mwami turasengeye umuga umutama yasize turasengeye abuzu kuru yasize turasengeye abana biwe yasize mwizina rya Yesu Kristo turakwinginga nabo ubagendere mwami niwe buremesha ni uri kiremesha muri byose mwami turagusavye ubabere nzira mwami ubabere umuco atabona mwami ubahe kubona mwami atagira nzira ubabere nzira mwami turaze jambo ya tugira yuko Yesu ari we nzira no kuri nubugingo ari uzo dushikana kwa data none mana yacu turakwinginze si wewe nyene mwami turasengeye mwami mana ishengero ryawe byose turasavye umubyuro wawe ko abantu bawe bongegwe mwami bagende bongegwa mwami bagende bagira intambwe mwami bava mu kugoroka bongera baja mu kugoroka mwami bava mu buntu baja mu buntu bwawe mana yacu kugira ngo mana yacu ni waza gutorishengero ryawe udusange bari maso udusange bagavye mwami ukijambo yawe ritubwira ngo yabinyeni zuyo menyi musi gisuma kizira ko yoteranye niyo kunze ko inzu yiwe yimbwa none mana yacu turakwinginze uteramire imitima yacu uteramire ubugingo bwacu mwami kugira ho Yesu tozira uzo twambi kugoroka kwawe urakoze kudukunda mwami dusaba bikeya mana yacu kamenya ko vyinshi ari ubiduhera ubuntu imbabazi mwami ariko kimwe gusa tubandu gusabe rero mana ubana igutegura imitima yacu abazimi bazi muri ubagarukane mu ngoro yawe mwami abataye umurongo mwami ubagirire neza mwami bame bibukuru kuno bakunze bame bibuka imbabazi Yesu watugiriye mwami igiye wemera kwikorera imitwaro yacu na cha cha tukira abanyantege nke ukadufira tura abanyantege nke mwami none mana turazi neza ko dusaba bikeya we ukaduha vyishi ibyo buna byo tugirira ikimaze ubikore guhugoma ngo kuri imana mu izina ya Yesu Kristo mucunguzi wacu Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Well, thank you again for joining us, making us part of the church in your home. The church in this place has a few things coming up. Our series of men's barbecue breakfasts will continue. On the last Saturday in July, uh, we will have a speaker who will talk to us about the mission to seafarers and how Christian people care for seafarers, particularly in the Port of Brisbane. Later on in the life of the parish we'll have the season of creation and the season of creation will be uh, from the 10th of September through to St Francis Day on the 1st of October. Season of stewardship will be from the 15th of October to the 29th of October uh, and those both seasons will be in the online church as well uh, and if you want material about stewardship or about creation, uh, we'll send that out to our email contacts. If you don't get the newsletter, uh, like and subscribe or ask in the comments or just send an email to office at loganglican.com.au uh, and then you'll get the material about stewardship and creation as well. All Saints Day is coming up on the 5th of November. That's a while away, but that's the time when we will remember particularly uh, our saints, the people who we love and trust are in the near presence of God. So thanks for joining us again. See you next week.
Would you please stand for the blessing? The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of God's Son Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. of behind the scenes supporters in this church. This cupboard belongs to one of them. It's the flower cupboard at church where uh, the flowers not currently on display are stored. Just wanted to show you this to remind you of some of the folks who behind the scenes support the work of the church. Thank you Heather.